The market is so confused today, and I know I can't be the only one that's frustrated with it. Check this out. Now, this has been going on for like a week and a half. Market right at market open, gaps up. This is TQQQ, becomes super, super overbought. I can't even imagine, right? We caught this all during our live trading session today. I can't even imagine how many beginners got caught on this bull trap. It was a complete fake out. It peaked, it got rejected, and got rejected so hard. And this is why this like it literally didn't even make sense on why the market was gapping up because it wasn't right NASDAQ. It was Apple. Apple was gapping up right at market open. Amazon was gapping up right at market open and Amazon hasn't even really pulled on back. So there's still more downside potential if and when we do break below. Meta is up 1.67%. Microsoft is up 1.6%. Like these things had no business gapping up when NVIDIA was the only one that reported earnings yesterday and it was good earnings, really good. Completely beat the earnings per share and the overall revenue expectations. And yet NVIDIA is the one that's down, but the rest of the market is up. AMD did announce that it has a new chip coming out, but who cares, right? NVIDIA is down. NVIDIA is the world leader in micro device uh, chips. And yet AMD thinks that again, it can justify a move. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just became so frustrated of how overbought this became. And it's so unfortunate that it's always the beginners that are going to get absolutely trapped in moves like this, right? We saw that huge downside swing. It began to establish its support. And then that's when I jumped into TQQQ for the short-lived rally. I've already locked in profits on my TQQQ position. I didn't make very much. There wasn't a very significant move. And I really sized it down, right? Anytime that the market is this choppy, this volatile, this risky, it's not that you have to be completely afraid of taking a position, but I want to respect the market enough and the risk that it comes with. And I sized down. So normally, you know, I can buy fifty dollars or $100,000 worth of it right away. And that's my initial position, right? I really sized down and I only bought 10K. It just shows you how uncertain I was about the market. I wasn't afraid to take any position. I just wanted to make sure that I respected and gave the market the time that it needed by sizing down. So if direction did present itself and the reversal did form, that then I can add more to it. So I had 10K, 10K, 10K. At one point, I think I had 70 or 80K. And then I locked in profits as it began to show signs of a resistance. So very, very choppy day. Now I'm in SQQQ. We're testing the moving average and we're testing the EMA as a support. If we break below this, then there's more downside potential. But on top of that, right, we have companies like Microsoft that still have a lot to pull back. We have companies like Meta that still haven't pulled on back. We have companies like Amazon that are still extremely overbought on the day. And if the, and if the overall NASDAQ market begins to sell off, it's going to bring these stocks down with it. And then to see the domino effect that because these companies are now so overbought when they begin to fall, it's a domino effect. Just like as quick as we went up, we can as quick go down. So we'll have to see. How do we end the day before Thanksgiving? I'm trying to keep it very simple today. Uh, the last two in, uh, economic reports are not super significant to the overall market. We did have initial claims and continuing claims come out, which came in lower than what was expected at 209K versus the expectation of 227K, which means less people are filing for unemployment, which shows that, hey, we might have a stronger labor market than what was expected. According to the Fed rate monitor tool, again, there's still a very high probability that the Federal Reserve is going to be pausing interest rates in the month of December. Other than that, again, I'm trying to keep it light, keep it tight today and not overcomplicate my trading, especially the day before a holiday. The stock market is closed tomorrow in observance to Thanksgiving. So please make sure that you don't enter any aggressive or hopeful position that you end up regretting holding into again Friday. So I hope that if you have any questions whatsoever, I really don't even care if this is the first video you've watched of me. If you have any questions, if you're an absolute beginner, please do not hesitate. Shoot me a direct message right now, either via Discord or via Instagram. And that's the first or third link in the description down below. I hope that I earned a thumbs up. Again, I'd love for you to tune on into my live trading session. I trade live every morning when the market's open. And I hope to see you there the next time. That's going to be the second link in the description down below. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.